Your baker is done, Tuppen. And our feasting table will be warmer for it. Eivor, that is... kind of you. I hope one day I can repay you. You are among friends here. There's no need. No need, but a desire. An earnest one. I remember the good things people do for me. To warm my heart in times when... when kindnesses are few and far between. There was one more thing, though, if you had a moment. A grain merchant has set up down river. I want to bring a half dozen bags home, but I would need an extra pair of hands. I can lend a hand. That's a relief. I did not fancy asking Holger. An arrival. I wonder if Volker is among them. Tarbin, what brought you to our clan? Your reputation. Heard folk say a band of hard-drinking, battle-scarred warriors had washed up on shore. Said you had settled in the center of Mercia, taking in whatever floatsome, jetsome, and jumble of misfits came to your docks. And this appealed to you? More than anything. Always been a bit of a drifter. I did not take you for a baker when we met. You have the look of someone who swings an axe. <laughs> I do hear that a lot. But baking is your only craft, is that right? I have always enjoyed it. And I have always been good at it. But when I'm not able to find such work, I take odd jobs where I can. So long as I can work with my hands. Well, we have that in common. A question, Eivor. You're a warrior. A fighter. That much I know. But if you could stop fighting, what would you do? You ask the wrong question. I can stop fighting. But to do so would be to deny the essence of who I am. I think you mean, if I had to stop fighting, what would I become? No, you've given me the answer I wanted. It's good you found what calls you. A rare and happy thing. Yes, I see you both. What can I...? It's you. Well, what are you doing in Mercia? Collecting grain. Thirty silver's worth, if you can spare it. I do have the coin. Right. Well... Take what you need and get going. That should cover it. Thank you kindly. Of course. And you, uh... You take good care of yourself. Yeah? At your usual vendor. He seemed a little surprised to see you. Did he? Well, could be he knows somebody who looks like me. There's no shortage of big bearded men around here, yeah? I suppose not. About your question earlier, what would I do if I weren't a warrior? I would ask the same of you. Is baking bread your greatest wish? Is there something wrong with wanting to bake bread? The Romans baked bread. The Egyptians baked bread. It is a fine trade. But is it your calling? It is my calling to feed people, I'd say. To be of service to those I care for. 
And who care for me? That brings me joy. But that way, it is a noble pursuit. I don't know that it's noble. It is simply what gets me up in the morning. It gives me purpose for the rest of my day. Need help with your grain? No need, no need. I'll do the rest myself. Bring it in and put it where I like. All right. It was good to speak with you, Tarpin. A welcome diversion. You too, Eivor. Thank you for your help. Octavian. Ah, salve, Eivor. How are you? Well, thank you. A question. Does the name Guthban mean anything to you? Guthban? Hmm. It's not Latin, is it? It is a name, I think. But no face comes to mind. I fear it may be a moniker. A false name. <laughs> so you came to me? Why would you come to me about a false name? Do you think my name is false? No. Is it? I am Octavian. I've always been Octavian. Uh, now, please, Eivor, this is not a good time for me. I am terribly busy. Good day. <laughs> Rowan. Ah, Eivor. How's the day, my friend? I'm well, Rowan. I had only a small question. Do you know anyone named Guthban? Guthban? Hmm. Nothing comes to mind. Should I? It is not a question of should. Is it a horse? Uh, no, it's, uh... A lover? No, Rowan, it's... It, it's no one. You came here to ask me about no one. Thank you for your time. Tarbin, do you have a second? I was wondering if... I... I'm Guthpen, Eivor. It means battle bone. Not the name of a cheery baker, is it? Not one who bakes bread, no. So, how did you earn this name? Before I came here, I lived another life. A brutal, bloody life. I served with a gang of mercenaries. I was their weapon, roaming the wilds of England. Did whatever they asked of me. And all they asked was violence. When I left, I laid this sword on the grass and made a vow. I swore never to spill another drop of blood, to abandon acts of violence, to never kill again. A hard promise for a hard man. It wasn't, not for me. This life here is all I've ever wanted. I've never been more at peace. This is my doing. I brought all this upon you. It is down to me to fix it. Tarbin. By threatening you, they threaten my clan. I cannot allow that. These men are foul, Eivor. You should not have to fight my battles for me. Do you not hear me, Tarbin? If they threaten you, they threaten me. So let us face them, together. Very well. Meet me outside when you're ready. I believe I know where they will be. If you wish to face your old friends, I'm ready when you are. Good. I'll lead the way. I want you to know 
Should it come to blows with my old crew, I can handle it myself. Forgiving me is all the work you need to do. There's nothing to forgive. You Evil, walked away. If you've Vapor a moment shoot. to spare. My axe or by fist, I will do what must be done to protect my clan. <laughs> You're living the life you want, aren't you? Before we are spotted, tell me what I should expect here. Will they attack us on sight? I shouldn't think so. No. Nothing like that. It's not how Wilf operates. Yes, he's a clever one. And rather kind when you meet him. Makes you feel like you're a friend. Family. I met him a decade ago, and he was the first person to truly welcome me. To see some value in me. He told me I had a gift. For intimidation. Persuasion. Violence. Just by the size and strength of me, he knew how to use me. So what do they want from you now? They'll want me back. They'll want me to be the man they think I am. Monstrous and massive. Wilf and them were the only family I had then. But their love was conditioned. Wilf only loves what he owes. So what do you intend? I know I won't go back. I don't want more blood on my hands. But apart from that, it's hard to say. Who knows what they have in mind? We're stopping. That house, there. They're likely within. It won't look like much, Eivor. But don't be fooled. And don't take Wilf lightly, charming as he seems. The man is a serpent. I've met plenty of charmers who turned out to be snakes. I know, I know. Only a warning. Let's go inside. Goffman, my boy, as I live and breathe, you got my message. And you brought a friend. Who might you be, Dane? His new leash? I am Eivor, and the woman you robbed was one of my clan. That will not stand. I oh, know, I know. I'm busted up about it. But tell Tekla, was it? Tell her that Arayal is some of the finest we've tasted. I am done with you, Wilf. But we are not done with you, boy. We gave you food, shelter, ale to drink, riches galore. We made you who you are. For all you did for him, he repaid you with blood and sweat. Did he not? You're a fiery one, I like that. But the ink was dried on this deal well before your number arrived in England. If you wish to clear Tarbin's name, I'm happy to help with that. It's only a small matter of cost. Some weeks back, soldiers confiscated my personal wares, shall we say. Tried to confiscate me as well, but I gave them the slip. If you're keen, you could recover my belongings and return them to me. Do that, and your name is clear. I... I can't. I promised myself I would leave all this behind, but... If it will clear Tarbin's name, we will recover what is yours. Where are these soldiers? Camp not far to the west. A battalion of bloated, brainwashed military men. You can't miss it for the smell. Wait here, then. We will return before you sprout another pair of horns. God go with you, Eivor. This isn't your fight. You don't need to do this. But I am. Now listen. When we reach the camp, leave everything to me. I will find Wolf's goods and bring them to you. If I'm spotted, it won't be pretty. Many may die, and I do not want you involved. You must not break your vow. No vow stands above my duty to my friends, Eivor. I could not leave you alone with- What do you see, Sunin? No vow stands- No vow stands above my duty to my friends, Abel. I could not leave you alone with them should they attack. 
if it comes to that. Stand aside until then. I will. You have my word. Oh, they have returned. We have your goods. Beautiful. Beautiful. Put them there. The ledger. Of course. Happy to honor it. My goodness, such a lack of trust these days. It's a dark age, no mistake. That's it, then. We're done? Aye. You are free to walk from this place and live as Tob in the boring bread maker for the rest of your days. But you, Eivor, if you ever get tired of the settled life, we could always use a thief with your skills. Think about it.